All right, woodchucks. Today's tool is the bandsaw. This is a bandsaw. Now, the reason it's called a bandsaw is because it has a blade which is like a band. It travels around these two wheels. It's got a, an upper wheel and a lower wheel. The blade is one continuous piece which goes around and into downward motion cuts. Um, pretty simple device. You turn it on, you can see more or less how the wheel. Now, normally you would never open it, these covers while it's running, but I was just giving you a little show here. Another important part of this is the blade guard. And this is the blade guard, which is the part that keeps you from getting cut. There's a handle on the back which you can loosen, and this raises up and then tightens, exposing the blade. And if you can get a close-up of the blade here, you can see that the blade has teeth on it that cut in a downward motion. So as it spins, it cuts down through this. It has a plate here, and this is put in to cover. You can see there's a lot of sawdust down in there. It doesn't hurt a thing. Clean it out once in a while. The cover's clean. This is called the table. The part that does it, the whole unit is mounted on this stand, and we have it collected to a dust collecting system, which uh, sucks the dust up there and then across through that big pipe and goes outside to a dust collector. All right, when you're using this saw, what you're doing is you are making a cut. The bandsaw is unique in that it can make curved cuts and straight cuts. Ours has a miter gauge channel in here, so you could be able to put a miter gauge in it, but quite frankly, we don't use that very often for our applications. All right. Now, when you're using this saw, you want to adjust the guard so it's just slightly above the stock that you're cutting. We're just cutting a standard piece of pine stock here. Start the saw. The deal is, if you don't put your fingers in the path of the blade, you're not going to get cut. So, next. Okay, the bandsaw is operated. Adjust the guard so it's slightly above the wood. Keep your hands on the outside. Never put your hands in the path of the blade. That's where you can end up getting hurt. Safety glasses when you wear it. Standard practice. If you don't do it, you're an idiot. All right, you start your cut. Push slowly into the wood. On this, I can make curved cuts. Long as See, it makes pretty intricate cuts. What determines it, pretty much, is the thickness of the blade. On this saw, I've got this little eighth inch blade on it, and that allows me to make fairly tight cuts. This is another one. We also have a, a skip tooth blade on this. It's pretty nice. That's what you can do with a bandsaw.